Yo squad, what's going on? It's your boy Sean here. This is going to be a quick and easy video on how you're able to emulate old school hardware so that you can play those old school games on your Mac OS. So you're just going to start off by going to openemu.org and then you're just going to download the file that's there. Give it some time to download. It's going to download as a zip file. Alright, so boom, as soon as you have the open EMU software downloaded, you're just going to click on that, double click on it, and you're going to get this message about open EMU can be verified, blah, blah, blah. The way you uh, remedy this is you're just going to go over to the system preferences, and you're going to click on security and privacy. Once you click on security and privacy, you just want to make sure that the general tab is selected. And at the bottom, you'll see open EMU was blocked. You could just click on open anyway, and then it'll give you the option to open. And then you'll just kind of follow through these prompts. Nothing too crazy. And obviously, in order to use the app, you're going to need to be using some sort of input device like a controller or a keyboard. This assumes because you're on a laptop, you're going to be using a keyboard. So it's going to ask for those permissions for Open EMU to be able to use the keyboard. So you just have to grant it access and grant it permission to be able to use the keyboard. The cool thing about Open EMU, though, is that you can also connect a controller. So you can connect either a wireless controller or you can connect a controller via Bluetooth as well. So you don't have to use the keyboard. That would be super inconvenient anyway. All right, so as you all can see, I went over and tried to install Siphon Filter 2. That was like one of my favorite games back in the day. So when you try to open the first game, no matter what game it is, whether it's Siphon Filter, Mortal Kombat, whatever, Resident Evil, you'll see that these bin files are missing. And essentially what you're going to want to do is just copy the bin files that are missing. And you could just open up a browser of your choice, go over there and just paste in the bin files. And you'll be able to find the ones that you need. In this video, I'm not gonna show where exactly I got the bin files from, but again, if you just take it, if you copy and paste it, you'll be able to find a source that can provide you with the bin files that you'll need. Cool, so as you can see, I was able to go ahead and get those bin files. So for ease of access, I'm just taking all three of them and putting them into one folder. Alright, and here all you're going to do is literally just highlight all three of the bin files and just drag it straight into the open EMU window. That easy. Alright, so as you can see here, there's a required M3U file missing. You don't really have to worry about this too much, especially if you're dealing with uh, single disc games. For anyone that's familiar with Siphon Filter 2, which is like one of my favorite games back in the day, by the way, this is a double disc game, just like how Resident Evil 2 was back in the day as well. So all I'm going to do is just go over to a browser and type in the game that I want, a single disc game that I want, and just type in the game's name and then type ISO after, I-S-O. Um, this pretty much just means that it's an optical disc image. Uh, and all that is is it's just taking a disk image and then just putting everything in like a digital file for you And keeping it in the tradition of siphon filter I just went ahead and got the first one which is a single disk game Which will make it easier for us to get it uh, fired up in open EMU Cool so as soon as you have that file downloaded the game that you want the one that you found the ISO for you're going to go into that folder that it came from and you're going to look for the Q file, C-U-E. You're going to look for that file and then you're just, again, literally just drag it right over to the open EMU window and you see it right there. It just comes right up. It comes right up and you're able to double click on it and that thing just fires up, man, and you're ready to go. I know this is probably like super nostalgic for everybody watching this. <laughs> it gotta be you're here for a reason you're you're here to be able to get these games on your computer so i know this has got to be nostalgic for everybody seeing that playstation logo you know seeing all of the different logos man it's uh it was definitely a time to be alive for sure Damn, 
dog. Look at these graphics. Yo, look at these graphics, man. This is crazy. But that's one of the cool features about Open EMU. You have the little different settings that I'm playing around with here. Got the different shaders, um, different things you can click. It'll give it a different tone. It'll give it a different, you know, vibe um, in terms of the video. So, yeah, man, that's it. There you have it. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. And let me know down in the comment section what games y'all used to play back in the day. What games, you know, y'all was hyped to open on Christmas Day or on your birthday or whatever. Damn, I, I can't get over these graphics, man. This is so bad. But, <laughs> but it's nostalgic. And uh, like I said, it was a time to be alive. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.